one of the country's oldest choral ensembles. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Alexandra Booth. She is a board member and the Education and Outreach Chairwoman for the Reading Choral Society. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Talk to us about this organization because it really does have a, a generations long history. Yes, the Reading Choral Society is um, an organization that was founded in 1875 and so we are one of the longest running choral societies in the country which is quite a rich heritage to have here in this community and uh, really we continue to operate under the mission of uh, performing and fostering and enhancing the art of choral music here in Reading and Berks County and hopefully in the communities beyond. Now when we talk about the membership, some are professional singers, but some are people who grew up singing and just want to continue that. Correct. That is true. Um, I myself uh, am a music teacher, a musician, and we make up part of that um, group, but really there are so many more who have made it just their life, love, and hobby and continue to add to our group that way. And membership is actually by audition. That is correct. We audition at the beginning of each season, but we also accept new members um, throughout our season on a rolling basis, and so at the end of each um, concert cycle, people are more than free to hop in with us and join us for the, the remaining concerts that year. And this is really a group of people who love to sing. They really do. Uh, they're excited about it and they're constantly working at ways to continue to grow the organization and get the word out. So, Now let's talk a little bit about the music. What are the types of music that you perform throughout the year? We perform a very varied um, repertoire and we sing with all different types of ensembles and this year we are looking forward to a wonderful concert season with holiday selections from different um, time periods as well as our winter concert which will focus on uh, choral music that was written solely by American composers throughout the last century or so and then our spring concert dates all the way uh, dates all the way back to 1610 with Monteverdi's um, Vespers of the Blessed Virgin so it's uh, quite a good variety this year. Amazing music and you also work with young performers. That's correct yes um, the Reading Choral Society really enjoys the opportunity to reach out into our community to collaborate with all of the wonderful musical organizations and uh, this year we have uh, a few new initiatives that we're excited about which is um, one of our scholarship programs reaching out to local colleges and in inviting some of their young singers to sing with us that way, as well as a new program called the Gloria Singers. And this is a program that focuses on upper elementary school and middle school parochial school students and uh, provides them an opportunity to sit through workshops and rehearsals with our director Peter Hopkins and and then some of our singers join them for uh, a mini concert and just a wonderful way to raise the bar of excellence of choral music in our community. And really engage these young people in this music as well. That is correct and uh, we have, are always using um, utilizing the other performance groups in our community with Brooks Classical Children's Chorus, uh, several high school choruses that have sung with us over the years, as well as our scholarships and high school MVP programs, just um, trying to foster that love and keep it growing in the years to come. And encourage that next generation of singers. That is correct, yes. That's, that's definitely one of our main pushes right now. And we just have a short time left, but you have a variety of up upcoming concerts, as you mentioned, uh, the next of which will happen in December, Celebration of Light. These are really your holiday concerts, a few different venues for those as well. If people are interested, they can visit your website for more information, but so many different types of music will be performed at these upcoming concerts. And that is very true. And we are very excited about that. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Alexandra Booth. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast.